One of the most important things that you can use masks for in After Effects is to use them for position keyframes. Let's go ahead and create a new composition. Click on the new comp icon here. You can accept the defaults of NTSC DV. Five seconds is good. And click OK. Let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. Uh, let me just draw a little shape here in the middle. Press and hold the space bar to adjust it. And that looks good. And yeah, let me go ahead and change the color to a more pleasant one. Uh, let's just say a light blue. Let's click OK there. Now, if I wanted to move this shape in a perfect circle on the screen, I could easily do that. All I have to do is create a solid, layer, new, solid. I can make it any color. Click OK. And now, draw the circle on the actual solid. Just click and drag. Don't release the mouse button. and Press the Shift key. There you go. That's a perfect circle. If you need to adjust it, press and hold the space bar and adjust it a little bit. And there you go. Select the layer. Press M for Mask. Click on the words Mask Path and copy. Control or Command C. You can now delete the solid. Select the circle that we just drew before. Press the letter P for Position. Click on the word position and paste, Control or Command V. There you go. You have just pasted a mask onto position keyframes. If you do a RAM preview, this is going to go on a perfect circle. One of the things that you can use this is to create an invisible pen effect. So let's go back to Illustrator, Alt Tab or Command Tab for the Mac. And let's go ahead and delete the word Adobe. I'll go ahead and write my own name. And let's go ahead and copy that. You can feel free to write your own name. Alt or Command Tab to switch. Let's go ahead and create a new composition. And uh, let's go and choose uh, Composition Preset for the web. Actually, not web banner, web video. And leave everything as it is. Five seconds is fine. And go ahead and click OK. Let's go ahead and create a solid for this. Layer, New, Solid, or use the shortcut Control or Command Y. And the color of this solid does not matter, so just go ahead and click OK. And Paste, Control or Command V. Let me zoom in so you can easily see. Go ahead and make sure that the layer is selected. Go under Effect, Generate, Stroke. And let's add a stroke effect to this. Let's go ahead and keyframe the end parameter so that it starts at zero. Move your CTI and it ends at 100. Let's also change the paint style so that it's not an original image, but it's on transparent instead. That way it'll be painting on an alpha so we can key this on top of anything we need to. Go ahead and zoom out and Let's go ahead and do a RAM preview of this. Zero on your numeric keypad. And there you go. It's just writing the signature. All right. Let's now add the pencil or pen that actually wrote the signature. Let's go ahead and go to the project panel. Double click on an empty space here. Navigate to your chapter 04 folder and choose pencil.psd. Click on open. Make sure Import Kind reads Footage and choose Layer 1. Click OK and drag this down to the composition. As you can see, it's humongous. Press S for Scale and let's scrub this number down. Let's zoom in and go ahead and grab the Pan Behind tool, which I like to call the Anchor Point tool, and move the anchor point to the tip of the pencil. I think I made it a little too small. Let me make it a little bit larger. Select a solid and press M for mask. Click on the words mask path and copy. Control or Command C. Go ahead and place the CTI all the way at the beginning. Select the pencil layer and press P for position. Click on the word position and paste. Control or Command V. Select the solid layer and press the letter U. This will show you any keyframes that have been assigned to that layer. 
make sure that the first keyframe of the position of the pencil agrees with the first keyframe of the end parameter of the stroke. Make sure that the end keyframes agree as well. So click and drag the keyframe, and as you drag, press and hold the Shift key, and the keyframes will snap. All right, let's go ahead and RAM preview this. Zero on your numeric keypad. And there you go. You have your animated signature. If by any reason the mask does not agree with your position keyframes, all you need to do is click on the word position to select all of the keyframes. Let me zoom in so you can easily see. Grab the selection tool. All you need to do is grab one of these keyframes and move it. And notice how the whole path is now moving as you move the mouse. Let's position it where it was. And there you go. Let's go ahead and zoom out and zero on your numeric keypad. And there you go. You have your animated signature.